Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. I'd love to welcome you to Real Magic Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing First Class by Mike Davis. Before we do this review, I'd love you to note mentally to have a look after this at onlinemagic.co. That's my online magic school. I think that's what I'm calling it now. Course, resource, over 600 videos, live sessions every week. We did a card under box session last night, which was lots of fun. Loads of different, different concepts of that. And, uh, and loads of guest lecturers and things like that going on as well every single week and month. Right, week and month. Of course, it was every single week. It's going to be every single month, isn't it? Makes no sense whatsoever. But then what does? Uh, right, <laughs> and like and subscribe, do that as well. First class, this is a double prediction. So, I think there's, well, let's see the, the, the main effect. The main effect is you say you received a letter. Now, you don't have to do this script. In fact, the script is pushing it, isn't it? I haven't written a script. Um, but there is a script involved, um, uh, included in this. Mike sends you a PDF of one, and he's got a proper script that's written and everything. Um, <laughs> uh, but you get a letter, and it's a very authentic looking letter. It's great. It, it's sort of rustic and, and something you would have um, got through the post. And he talks about, he opened it up and there was a thing inside it. And what that thing is, is some cards with pick a card written on them. And that's the first part of the trick. You then spread 11 cards and tell them to look at one and just name any one. And then you go into the trick. So there's a number of things that can happen here, which is what I like. The first thing is you're going to reveal their thought of or named card in I think it's okay to say in one of a few ways because no non-magician is going to be looking at these um, the all of the revelations are nice my least favorite funnily enough I showed to a couple of people I haven't got any performing footage of this I'm so sorry but have a look at the trailer have a look at the site and all that kind of stuff um, I've got, kind of gone through most of the revelations and the, the ones that I thought were the weakest have actually got really nice responses so it, as a magician it's very hard to see this stuff because we see different revelations we go well that one's a bit weaker so don't, I hope they don't choose that one and when they do we think oh but actually it's okay it's fine uh, and strong and and it's I think because of the presentation of the trick it it people buy into it more and then you show them you say pick another card and you turn the thing around that was as you can tell this is one of my flawless explanations of tricks again <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense but you've you turn it around and it says pick another card and they pick another one in the same way and you show them that that card is the only one with uh, a red deck and the rest of blue a uh, red back and the rest of blue backs so that sort of thing so you've got two different things double prediction one showing that one's got a different color back one showing that it's on the letter or something that's all i'm going to say first thing it's a really nicely made prop this is made of Tyvek, so it's going to last. It won't rip. It doesn't look like it's made of anything but paper. So it's substantial. You're not going to buy any more. It's going to last you forever. Um, even though I said what I said, I think, th I think there's one of the revelations that isn't quite there for people of a certain age that might not. Uh, that's all I'll say. You might have to explain something, but that's okay because it's the first part of the trick. But it just won't be quite as strong. The rest, I think, are great. Um, of course, there's slight, there are different strengths, but again, for magicians, that's probably our concern. The second one with the backs being different colours is usually he performs it at the end, but it doesn't have to be like that, I suppose. Um, I showed it to my son and someone else and then said, which was your favourite bit, the first card when I showed you it in the letter or the second they said the letter card. Now that kind of causes a bit of an issue where you're going to go, well, you don't want to finish on something that's weaker, but that might just be very, very subjective. I think it's a really lovely trick. I think it could be better if the cards were more rustic because it kind of adds to it and they do make these for you and they say if you want we can we can age the cards. I kind of think it maybe would have been good just to sell it like that because it kind of gives it gives it more and the way that the pick a card is printed 
It doesn't look that mysterious. It's a little bit sterile, so I think that could, they could have been a little bit more done with that. But you can always do that, and it won't take you long. It's you know you're buying the trick and you're buying the prop and the bits that you would have to replace. It's really not a problem if you wanted to do that. It won't take long. It's not loads of arts and crafts. Um, the arts and crafts that you would need to do have been done for you, and there is more to it than you think. It's not just a letter with some cards in it. Uh, I personally I like tricks that go in freeze this is a very personal thing so double predictions are a bit weird for me unless one is super super strong and I do think the predictions are kind of equal so you're going to have to work out your own performance of this and when I have performed it what I found is that once you learn it and it's very easy to learn there is a little bit of memory work in it but nothing that you can handle and I suppose there are ways you could crib it if you wanted to but you're not really going to want that uh, need to I think but I think when you know it you're going to be able to improvise with it and one of the times I did it I did kind of start swapping things around and you don't have to do a double prediction either you, that's there if you want it you can do a double one or you could have a double, another prediction that's nothing to do with a letter that, so you can have three predictions so I think it, it there's more to do with this and you can play with it once you grasp it once you get what it is once you learn the bits you've got to learn which none of it there's no sleight of hand in this at all it's well a lie there is there's a if you want to there's a very simple bit of sleight of hand for the second revelation when you're showing the backs. Um, but it gives you kind of two or three ways of doing this. They're all pretty easy. Um, but you are going to need to be able to handle cards a little bit to do them. But again, you could just do one one revelation with these. Or it could be at the end of a trick. You know, you could improvise. So I think it's a nice trick. I think it's a lovely trick. I think it's really cute. I think it's really sweet. I think it's a different way of doing a card trick. Uh, it's not groundbreaking, but that doesn't really matter to me. Um, would I feel happy doing it? Yes, some tricks I get, I feel a little bit embarrassed doing because I think, oh, I don't want to get this fridge because they're going to think it's me. I'd quite happily do that and it wouldn't be a problem. And I think it's open for lots and lots of interpretations. Uh, so there it is. Uh, first class, that's from the uh, British Secret Service website, which is British, britishsecretservice.co.uk. That's very handy, isn't it? Um, it's a good, good URL. Uh, and that's from Mike Davis. So thanks for sending that to me, Mike. Uh, any questions at all, I would have missed loads out. So uh, angry, no angle problems. That's what people want to know, isn't it? It's pretty easy. It's quite a good trick. Uh, it's a lovely little trick. Right, take care. Have a good one. See you later. Oh, and check out onlinemagic.co. If I haven't told you, that's, that's my online magic school. Uh, bye.